The culture of Palestine is closely related to those of the nearby Levantine countries such as Lebanon, Syria, and Jordan. Cultural contributions to the fields of art, literature, music, costume and cuisine express the Palestinian experience despite the geographical separation between Palestinian territories, Israel and the diaspora. Folklore Palestinian folklore is the body of expressive culture, including tales, music, dance, legends, oral history, proverbs, jokes, popular beliefs, customs, and comprising the traditions of Palestinian culture. The folklorist revival among Palestinian intellectuals such as Nim Sirin, Musa Alush, Salam Mubayid, and the Palestinian Folklore Society of the 1970s, emphasized pre-Islamic cultural roots. Reconstructing Palestinian identity with a focus on Canaanite and Jebusite cultures. Such efforts seem to have borne fruit as evidenced in the organization of celebrations like the Karbatia Canaanite Festival and the annual music. Festival of Yabis by the Palestinian Ministry of Culture. Costumes Foreign travelers to Palestine in late 19th and early 20th centuries often commented on the rich variety of costumes among the Palestinian people, and particularly among the Fellahin or village women. Until the 1940s, the woman's economic status, whether married or single, and the town or area they were from could be deciphered by most Palestinian women by the type of cloth, colors, cut, and embroidery motifs, or lack thereof, used for the robe-like dress or taub in Arabic. New styles began to appear in the 1960s. For example, the six-branch dress, named after the six wide bands of embroidery running down from the waist. These styles came from the refugee camps, particularly after 1967. Individual village styles were lost and replaced by an identifiable Palestinian style. The Shawil, a style popular in the West Bank and Jordan before the First Intifada, probably evolved from one of the many welfare embroidery projects in the refugee camps. It was a shorter and narrower fashion, with a western cut. Dance The Dabka dance is marked by synchronized jumping, stamping, and movement, similar to tap dancing. One version is performed by men, another by women. Folk tales Traditional storytelling among Palestinians is prefaced with an invitation to the listeners to give blessings to God and the Prophet, Muhammad or the Virgin Mary as the case may be, and includes the traditional opening. There was, in the oldness of time, formulaic elements of the story share much in common with the wider Arab world, though the rhyming scheme is distinct. There are a cast of supernatural characters, jints and djns who can cross the seven seas in an instant, giants and ghouls with eyes of ember and teeth of brass. Music Palestinian music is well known throughout the Arab world. After 1948, a new wave of performers emerged with distinctively Palestinian themes relating to dreams of statehood and burgeoning nationalist sentiments. In addition to Zarjil and Artaraba, traditional Palestinian songs include Bin al Dawari, Al Rosanna, Zarif, Al Thul, and Al Maidana, Dalona, Saja, Samir, Zagreet. Over three decades, the Palestinian national music and dance troupe and Mosin Subhai have reinterpreted and rearranged traditional wedding songs such as Michel, Marjibin, Amer and Zagarid. Artaraba is a form of folk singing that consists of four verses, following a specific form and meter. The distinguishing feature of Artaraba is that the first three verses end with the same word meaning three different things, and the fourth verse serves as a conclusion. It is usually followed by a Dalina. Sports The Palestinian Olympic Committee did not work with the Israeli Olympic Committee to train for the 2012 Olympic Games, and participation in the 2013 Mediterranean Games. There is a West Bank Premier League and Gaza Strip League. The Palestine national football team played Afghanistan in the 2014 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. They visited Australia for the 2015 AFC Asian Cup. The Beit Jala Lions is a West Bank rugby union team. 
The term Asaya Equestrian Club, established in 2007, is a riding club dedicated to the mission of providing affordable access to horses for Palestinians. Ashraf Rabi, the founder, maintains that this is part of the development of Palestine. Horses are a big part of our Arab culture and we must embrace it. Modern art Similar to the structure of Palestinian society, the Palestinian field of arts extends over four main geographic centers. 1. The West Bank and Gaza Strip 2, Israel 3, the Palestinian diaspora in Europe, the United States and elsewhere. Contemporary Palestinian art finds its roots in folk art and traditional Christian and Islamic painting. After the 1948 Palestinian exodus, nationalistic themes have predominated as Palestinian artists use diverse media to express and explore their connection to identity and land. In the 1990s Salam Diab, Hisham Zaraik, Issa Daib and others began to adopt modern styles and symbolism. Modern cuisine Palestine's history of rule by many different empires is reflected in Palestinian cuisine, which has benefited from various cultural contributions and exchanges. Generally speaking, modern Palestinian dishes have been influenced by the rule of three major Islamic groups. The Arabs, the Persian-influenced Arabs and the Turks. The original Bedouin Arabs in Syria and Palestine had simple culinary traditions primarily based on the use of rice, lamb and yogurt, as well as dates. The cuisine of the Ottoman Empire, which incorporated Palestine as one of its provinces in 1512-14, was partially made up of what had become by then a rich Arab cuisine. After the Crimean War, in 1855, many other communities including Bosnians, Greeks, French and Italians began settling in the area especially in Jerusalem, Jaffa and Bethlehem. The cuisine of these communities, particularly those of the Balkans, contributed to the character of Palestinian cuisine. Nonetheless, until around the 1950s-60s, the staple diet for many rural Palestinian families revolved around olive oil, oregano and bread, baked in a simple oven called a taboon. Palestinian cuisine is divided into three regional groups, the Galilee, West Bank, and Gaza area. Cuisine in the Galilee region shares much in common with Lebanese cuisine. Due to extensive communication between the two regions before the establishment of Israel, Galilee inhabitants specialize in producing a number of meals based on the combination of bulgur, spices and meat, known as kibbeh by Arabs. Kibbe has several variations including it being served raw, fried or baked. Musakan is a common main dish that originated in the Janine and Tulkam area in the northern West Bank. It consists of a roasted chicken over a taboon bread that has been topped with pieces of fried sweet onions, sumac, allspice and pine nuts. Other meals common to the area are makluba and mansof, the latter originating from the Bedouin population of Jordan. The cuisine of the Gaza Strip is influenced both by neighboring Egypt and its location on the Mediterranean coast. The staple food for the majority of the inhabitants in the area is fish. Gaza has a major fishing industry and fish is often served either grilled or fried after being stuffed with cilantro, garlic red peppers and cumin and marinated in a mix of coriander, red peppers, cumin, and chopped lemons. The Egyptian culinary influence is also seen by the frequent use of hot peppers, garlic and chard to flavor many of Gaza's meals. A dish native to the Gaza area is sumagi yeah, which consists of water-soaked ground sumac mixed with tahina and then added to sliced chard and pieces of stewed beef and garbanzo beans. There are several foods native to Palestine that are well known in the Arab world, such as Kainaf Nabulsai, Nabulsai cheese, Akawai cheese, Romania, Sumagi Yer and Musakan. Kainaf originated in Nablus, as well as the sweetened Nabulsai cheese used to fill it. 
Baklava, a pastry introduced at the time of the Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent, is also an integral part of Palestinian cuisine. Chickpea-based falafel, which substituted for the fava beans used in the original Egyptian recipe and added Indian peppers introduced after the Mongol invasions opened new trade routes are a favorite staple in Mediterranean cuisine. Entreas that are eaten throughout the Palestinian territories include warak al inib, boiled grape leaves wrapped around cooked rice and ground lamb. Mahashi is an assortment of stuffed vegetables such as zucchinis, potatoes, cabbage and in Gaza, chard, film. Palestinian cinema is relatively young compared to Arab cinema overall and many Palestinian movies are made with European and Israeli support. Palestinian films are not exclusively produced in Arabic, some are made in English, French or Hebrew. More than 800 films have been produced about Palestinians, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and other related topics. Examples include Divine Intervention and Paradise Now. Handicrafts A wide variety of handicrafts, many of which have been produced by Palestinians for hundreds of years, continue to be produced today. Palestinian handicrafts include embroidery and weaving, pottery making, soap making, glass making, and olive wood and mother of pearl carvings, among others. Intellectuals in the late 19th century and early 20th century, Palestinian intellectuals were integral parts of wider Arab intellectual circles, as represented by individuals such as Maizid and Khalil Badis. Educational levels among Palestinians have traditionally been high. In the 1960s the West Bank had a higher percentage of its adolescent population enrolled in high school education than did Israel. West Bank 44.6% versus 22.8% in Israel. Claude Chasen, France's Minister for Foreign Affairs under the first Mitterrand presidency, held in the mid-80s that, even 30 years ago, probably already had the largest educated elite of all the Arab peoples. Diaspora figures like Edward Said and Gadi Kama, Arab citizens of Israel like Emil Habibi, and Jordanians like Ibrahim Nasrallah have made contributions to a wide number of fields, exemplifying the diversity of experience and thought among Palestinians. Literature. The long history of the Arabic language and its rich written and oral tradition form part of the Palestinian literary tradition as it has developed over the course of the 20th and 21st centuries. Since 1967, most critics have theorized the existence of three branches of Palestinian literature, loosely divided by geographic location. 1. From inside Israel. 2. From the occupied territories. 3. From among the Palestinian diaspora throughout the Middle East. Modern poetry. Poetry, using classical pre-Islamic forms, remains an extremely popular art form, often attracting Palestinian audiences in the thousands. Until 20 years ago, local folk bards reciting traditional verses were a feature of every Palestinian town. After the 1948 Palestinian exodus, poetry was transformed into a vehicle for political activism. From among those Palestinians who became Arab citizens of Israel after the passage of the citizenship law in 1952, a school of resistance poetry was born that included poets like Mahmoud Darwish, Sami al-Kashim, and Tawfiq Zayad. The work of these poets was largely unknown to the wider Arab world for years because of the lack of diplomatic relations between Israel and Arab governments. The situation changed after Ghassan Kanafani, another Palestinian writer in exile in Lebanon, published an anthology of their work in 1966. Palestinian poets often write about a sense of loss in the diaspora. Modern Music Palestinian music is well known and respected throughout the Arab world. A new wave of performers emerged with distinctively Palestinian themes following the 1948 Palestinian exodus, relating to the dreams of statehood and the burgeoning nationalist sentiments. 
In addition to Zardil and Artaraba, traditional Palestinian songs include Bin al Dawari, Al Rosanna, Zarif, Al Thul, and Al Maidana, Dalona, Sajja, Samir, Zagreet. For over three decades, the Palestinian National Music and Dance Group in Palestine has promoted and developed Palestinian traditional songs and dance. Examples include Mishal, Marjibin, Amer and Zagarid, a collection of Palestinian traditional wedding songs reinterpreted and rearranged by Mosin Subhai. The Art Haraba is a form of folk singing that spread outwards from Palestine. It consists of four verses, following a specific form and meter. The main aspect of the Art Haraba is that the first three verses must end with the same word meaning three different things and the fourth verse comes as a conclusion to the whole thing. It is usually followed by a dalina.